Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, corporate organizations with products and services that appeal to the youths, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs as well as corporate organizations, plus vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. For sponsorship and advert placement, please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. Education Report on TV, promoting excellence in education on television nationwide. This is to inform all head teachers and principals of public primary and secondary schools in Lagos State to kindly activate the recently issued official email address by following these steps. 1. Visit www.lagosschoolsonline.com. 2. Click on the Log On to the Web Mail tab. 3. Enter your full email address. 4. Enter your issued password. 5. Change your issued password to enhance the security of your email address. For further inquiries, please call 080-3323-2771 or 081-8760-9231. Announcer, the Lagos State Ministry of Education. As part of the Lagos State Government's commitment in ensuring all-round excellence in the public service, especially in the area of capacity building across all strata of the education sector, the Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Education, recently flagged off a workshop on the effective use of information communication technology across the state educational curriculum. For 1,000 teachers in public secondary schools, speaking at the event, a collaboration between Teachers Establishment and Pensions Office and Corona Schools, which was held at the Teachers Resource Center, Ubutu Ikorodu, the Permanent Secretary, Establishment and Pension Office, Mr. Nuruddin Ojora Adejinyo, on behalf of the Lagos State Government, welcomed everyone to the event. He also spoke on the idea behind the training. We must sustain our achievement as a leading state in Nigeria, particularly in this technology driven knowledge age. The need to promote the integration of ICT productivity tools and TV service delivery cannot be overemphasized. Consequently, it is capacity building role to staff the state post primary institutions and other sponsorship of the state government. The teachers of the family and pension of the temple identified and engaged the services of Corona Schools Trust Council to design and implement this workshop for 1,005 teaching staff. Distributed ladies and gentlemen, on the summer completion of this workshop, participating teachers will have been exposed to practical uses application of ICT-based productivity tools. On her part, Mrs. Nike Ogunleye, who represented the Executive Director of Corona Schools, stated that information communication technology plays an important role in the development of education. It can't be concluded that the impact of ICT plays a very important role in today's world. There are endless possibilities provided for technology, in the education landscape. Only technology will drive the innovation in Nigeria's education chaos. Research has also shown that ICT motivates teachers and students in the learning process. Technology as a tool can help teachers to accomplish their educational goals with students. Both teachers and students will take more responsibility for their learning. We cannot overemphasize the importance of information technology to our future as a nation. Representing the Lagos State Head of Service, the Cheetah General Permanent Secretary, Education District 2, Mrs. Titi Shulami, disclosed that the Lagos State Government places a lot of premium on staff capacity building. I make bold to assert that Lagos State Government, under the dynamic leadership of His Excellency, the Governor, Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola, President. 
is a designing organization. For us, there is a lot of sense in the sense that if you don't train them, you will take them. Consequently, the state places a lot of premium on staff capacity building, particularly in the reserve to deliver life and enhancing services to the TV companies. It may also interest you to know that the government understands the importance of teachers and appreciate their contributions in the teaching and learning processes. To this end, government regularly addresses issues of capacity, a major part of which is the appreciation of the uses and application of information and communication technology ICT to improve teaching and learning. In a good real message, the Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Olayinka Oladunjoye, made it known that apart from improving on the physical infrastructure in the state's public schools, the government has also invested heavily in capacity building, hence enhancing service delivery and improving learning outcomes. Labor states are thinking it's a while it is right to build infrastructure. It's even of greater importance to us to build the capacity of our staff who will deliver services to the learning population of our state. The reason behind this is the fact that only competent and committed teachers teach politics and matters. Consequence upon this reasoning, the state government has continuously been investing in the education sector through a variety of interventions, development of physical infrastructure, apart from improving on the physical infrastructure in the state public schools, we have invested heavily in capacity building across all strata of the education sector, particularly through the Lagos and post secondary education project. By strengthening school administration, enhancing service delivery, and improving learning outcomes. Indeed, feeding the capacity of our uh, principals and ensuring that they are accountable for what they do in our school. In the same vein, the Commissioner, in an interview with Education Report on TV, spoke on the impact the training will have on the teachers and students. We have ICT as a subject in school, so definitely it's going to impact positively and very well with regards to teaching and learning of ICT in our schools. And you know that it's a new curriculum that has just been that is evolving. So Lagos is being proactive by ensuring that we're doing this just about this time. So when much is given, much is expected. It is hoped that the participants and the training will make good use of the knowledge acquired and replicate the knowledge in carrying out their duties as teachers. This is to inform all head teachers and principals of public primary and secondary schools in Lagos State to kindly activate the recently issued official email address by following these steps. 1. Visit www.lagosschoolsonline.com 2. Click on the log on to the webmail tab. 3. Enter your full email address. 4. Enter your issued password. 5. Change your issued password to enhance the security of your email address. For further inquiries, please call 080-3323-2771 or 081-8760-9231. Announcer, the Lagos State Ministry of Education.
hereby notified that registration of children for admission into Nursery 1 Primary 1 in September 2014 will commence in all the divisions of Lagos State from Tuesday the 27th of May 2014. The minimum registration age for primary one is six years, while the minimum registration age into nursery one is three years. Application forms for registration can be obtained from the head teachers of all public nursery and primary schools in Lagos State. Parents and guardians should register in the schools nearest their homes. Completed application forms must be accompanied by three passport size photographs of the child and the child's birth certificate. To the head teachers of the schools from where the forms were obtained, parents are advised to register at only one center. Registration is free. Affected children must be brought along to the registration center. For more information, please call 080 2466 1427 or 081 5068 or visit the nearest public primary school in the state. Announcer Mrs. Bola Mondaudu, the Executive Chairman, State Universal Basic Education Board. Please, parents, guardians, don't hesitate and don't debar any child. They must not be used for child labor. Take them out to any center of your choice nearest your home and make sure that these children are registered. It is free and it is compulsory.